It's the day of the glorious grouse dinner at the pot kiln, and all is set for a wonderful evening. I've already picked up the butchered grouse from Vickers, and I'm back at my lovely pub preparing the evening's feast. Now, while the first few guests arrive, myself and the rest of the team are busy preparing the grub. The grouse legs have already been confit, which means they've been slow cooked in flavoured oil, and they're resting to one side while my sea trout starter is being prepared. Meanwhile, Chef Richard and myself are busy adding a little colour to the grouse's crowns and searing them really well. Yeah, these are being browned off, being seasoned, and that gets them ready to go. So when it comes on order, nine to ten minutes, depending on the size of the bird, and uh, you can see as they come out here, they're looking lovely coloured. Go on then, you can stick it in there, Richard, go on. <laughs> and these are going to be stunning. Easy to cook, quick, easy for people to deal with. No problem at all. That's a beautiful thing. Here are the legs, corn feed, so they're really nicely cooked. They're all tender and lovely. And, and so people can almost pick those up and suck the meat off them because it's so juicy. Served with bread sauce, red currant jelly. Those red currants came from my garden at home. I'm very proud of them. Rosty potatoes. Look at these babies. Super thin, crispy rosties with little bits of shallot in them that go that different color. Oh, delicious. Vegetable-wise, garden kale. Picked from our garden, and that'll just be cooked very, very gently. Butter, salt, pepper. Absolutely lovely. With the last of the sea trout being served up, it's all hands on deck to get the grouse dinner constructed, the main event, and there's enough time for me to take some well-earned rest and taste the results of my wonderful grouse shoot on the glorious 12th. Now these are lovely crisp grated potatoes with shallots and garlic and etc etc. I've got some kale straight out of our garden here, just lightly buttered and uh, it's quite a good strong flavour and with a grouse you need that. Right, so our grouse can go here like so, one grouse and you can see these are the crowns of those grouse look, they're beautifully roasted. Put the legs over the side like that, these have been confit, like there, fantastic like that and like that. That like that. Thank you very much. We have bread sauce. Bread sauce. Lovely. Okay. Pigs in blanket. There we go. Grouse gravy. Now this of course is made from trimmings and a basic sort of dark stock game stock but it's good grousey gravy there lovely and then very importantly to go with this I need red currant jelly okay. okay here we go we're gonna carve the breast and see how she looks oh, and I want you just to have a look in there look at that gorgeous juicy pink fully cooked almost fell off the bone that's how you cook a grouse spot-on perfection I'm just going to have a little bit of a leg to chew on. Mm. Just fantastic. Rounded, rich, strong, but not too strong. Corn feed, so it's falling off the bone. That is just stunning. Well, there we are. That's the glorious 12th done and dusted for another year. The beginning of the game season. It's the good times rolling on. I'm over the moon. Delicious food. These guys have done a brilliant job in here tonight. Nearly 50 people in the pot kiln, all happy, all chewing into grouse. I'm excited about the future, but for now, I'm gonna go and eat these. I'm delighted with the evening. It's been a huge success. My punters are really happy with the grouse dinner, and I've had a fantastic time shooting them up on the Yorkshire Moors. Here's to many more wonderful pot kiln dinners ahead. <laughs>